question about the consumer fruit, the golden fruit. What is known, what can you tell about? Well, uh, it's probably the first student flute ever to have a Cooper scale. And uh, it's, uh, it's very well plated, you know, usually student flutes are not so well silver plated, but this one is very well plated. And the, uh, it's a little bit more decorative. You know, I think basically flutes are boring to look at. You know, sometimes you see a violin and it has something special on it, or a bow, and the, the part you hold has always some sort of decoration on it, but a flute is a flute. So we made little dents in the, the rings around the flute, and we put a diamond on the end. Not a real diamond, of course, but you can also get it different colors, so you can ask them what color you want. And it comes in uh, offset, G or inline open hole with low B and the whole thing is actually made in America entirely. How does it play? I think it plays very well. I, I had one but the, the head joint they sent me was uh, not so good. So what I did was I called up Reiner LaFan and asked him to send me a measuring device and I measured my Cooper head sent that to them and they made a Cooper head. So the head joint that comes on it will be a very good head. I mean, it won't be like a, a Nagahara head or a Lafan, but it will be certainly a real cut above any other headpiece that's ever been on a student flute. So I think, you know, any, any kid who gets this flute in their hands, they'll have a flute that was much better than the flutes I had until I bought my Hanes when I was a kid.